Capricorn singles. Welcome guys. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general love reading for you. Yeah, we are going to dive into some love messages for you. Uh, encouragement to get you moving, get you healed, get you in alignment in terms of achieving and finding love in your life. Yes, this is a real situation. Okay, this ain't no, this ain't no smoke and mirrors. This ain't no lip service. We are going to get into some real things in here, Capricorn, because my intention with this reading is to help you heal elements in your life that keep you from finding the love that you deserve and that you require. Yes, and that you want and or need, however you want to say it. So this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, please understand that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's also fairly timeless. I don't even know why I'm saying fairly. It is a timeless reading. Even though it is coming through in the month of September, it's still a timeless reading. This can resonate for you at any moment. Also, keep in mind, Capricorn, that we absolutely could be speaking to a cross-watcher here. So if you are cross-watching for a Capricorn energy or a Capricorn person placement, whatnot, whatever, and this still resonates with you, just place it into your life as it fits, as this is a general reading meant for the sign of Capricorn. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Let's get into this Capricorn. What's going on? What messages do we have for our Capricorn singles here, please, spirit? Oh, deception. Okay. Okay, and then we have religious factors. Uh, I want to get some more. I just want to get one more card for you. I feel like, um, oh, okay. And then final card you have here is true love. So you have deception, you have religious factors, and then you also have true love. You could be dealing with a twin flame situation. You could be going through the healing process that the twin flame situation... Um, reveals to you or puts you on to uh but the main thing that i'm getting here is you're having some sort of spiritual experience potentially with this religious factors you are either having you're going through some sort of a realignment in terms of religion um and dogma um this is this already feels very similar to taurus's reading Take it as it resonates. You may be dealing with a Taurus. You may have a Taurus placement, or you may have been influenced by some sort of Tauran energy, maybe a family member. Um, but you may also be going through a bit of a spiritual awakening also because religious factors does say your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So quite frankly, quite literally here, this says your love life is, be, is influenced by your religious upbringing. So just very similar to Taurus's energy, you may be going through some sort of You may be going through some sort of disconnection from certain religious beliefs or a certain religious upbringing that you are starting to find is deceptive you're starting to understand is deceptive or you're starting to recognize that it kind of led you astray from understanding what true love is and or what true love could be. Now the main thing, yes, the religious situation is, a, is, is possible here, is relevant to someone. But the main thing that I'm also getting with this is that um, I feel like you are transitioning now into some sort of spiritual awakening or maybe um, coming to an understanding, you may be going through or may have been going through a situation in which you were starting to define a lot of things for yourself. And with that comes the understanding of how you may have been deceived. Literally Capricorn, I'm getting how you may have been deceived by a pastor, by a specific pastor. I don't know, uh, take it as it resonates, but that is something that I'm picking up on here. There is some sort of masculine energy or maybe just a patriarchal energy, energy that has driven a certain narrative for you that you are starting to understand has been deceptive for you. Now, I'm not trying to sit here and say that it's deceptive altogether. For some individuals, it probably still works. For you, it may have worked for a certain amount of time. But now I, I am, okay, spirit is reiterating religious upbringing. And something about that in terms of love has been deceptive towards you. I mean, this could very well be a situation in which you met someone at church 
or while you were still associated with a certain uh, religion. But that relationship isn't working for you or hasn't been working for you. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And as I'm reading through that Capricorn, it may be that you are recognizing here that you have been wearing a false mask or the mask that you've been putting on, the face that you've been putting on, how it is you've been presenting yourself towards the public, uh, just towards general society, however you want to say it, is not authentic to you. Now, also for some of you here, while this could be leading you towards true love, it could very well meet, be that you have met an individual that you are feeling true love energies for, but that lies outside of a specific or certain religious upbringing. Big thing that I'm getting here for you, uh, for you Capricorn is transformation. And transformation in a spiritual sense. And the message also, part of this message has to do with the dogma. I'm also hearing Capricorn energy. I mean, for some of you here in which this resonates with like a specific pastor, that pastor may be a Capricorn. Because what I'm hearing spirits say in terms of the message here is that there is dark dogma related to whatever this is. Okay, dogma related to this upbringing, this religious upbringing. And maybe it's just that there was a specific pastor in your life in the past that was very heavily, heavily influential. This individual may be a Capricorn, but then also when I feel into this energy here, I just get this sense of what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is the devil. The devil does represent Capricorn energy, but when it comes to the devil in terms of this, it's how you have been chained and or confined to this specific belief system that has held you back and has maybe held you back from true love altogether. And or you could have come across an individual that you are feeling true love feelings for, but that lies outside of this dogma and you have been chained to this dogma so much that it's actually holding you back from this potential true love or this actual true love situation. Okay. All right. Let's, ro let's run deeper. Let's get deeper into this. For my Capricorn singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what is the situation here? I mean, for some of you, you may even be, you may, I, I don't know, this pastor, and maybe the, maybe it's the, maybe, maybe somebody has fallen in love with a pastor. And it's the religious upbringing that comes with that, or the religious alignment that comes with that, is kind of holding you guys away from each other. Because literally, you guys, for somebody out here, I feel like, there is a specific pastor who is a Capricorn that someone is watching this reading for. Whether that be this pastor is the individual that you have fallen in love with, that you have these true love energies with, or it's this pastor associated with this religious upbringing that has been deceptive. Or at least the dogma that they put forward was deceptive. Now it also could very well be that Someone here is not truly showing their true feelings because of this religious upbringing or this religious alignment. And I am not here to pass judgment. I personally am not a religious person, um, but I do see the value in religion. I do see the structure and the necessary structure and the upbringing that can actually be a stepping stone towards later on in life when you're ready for it, stepping out of that structure and starting to step into spirituality. I have nothing against religion, so I'm not here to bash the religion here. If that resonates for you or if that has resonated for you or it still does resonate for you, more power to you. I encourage you to stay on that path, but there's something about that here that is creating a wedge or driving a wedge between you and a specific person or just you and true love in general. Okay, let's go deeper. Two more shuffles here. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My Capricorn singles, last shuffle. We're gonna get into some shadow elements here, yeah? What's hidden beneath the surface for Capricorn in terms of true love? Engagement ring. Ooh, honey. 
<laughs> this just got deep. This either has to do with wanting to get married. So maybe this is a true love situation in which you and this other person, or at least you are feeling like you could marry this person, but there are religious, there's religious dogma standing in the way. Or this is about partnership and commitment somehow. How partnership and commitment has been defined within these religious factors. Again, wanting to be in a committed relationship with someone and maybe, yes, and maybe this person that you are wanting to be committed to or you're wanting to have, oh, geez, or you're wanting to have true love with falls outside of the religious stipulations, the religious requirements, or your religious requirements are, and the commitment involved with that is keeping you from actually having true love. Good Lord. I mean, this is so tricky and complicated, you guys. What's going on here for Capricorn? What are the shadow elements for Capricorn? Next, you have keys on a ring. Okay. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Now, the other thing that I was picking up on is maybe someone is very much, uh, again, is associated or aligned with certain religious factors that speak to monogamy. But the person that you may actually have true love with is more polyamorous. Or this is just an unconventional situation in terms of some sort of religious upbringing. Or, or, <laughs> at the very least, someone is feeling in inspired to... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm getting so much. Someone is inspired to have a one night stand or maybe has had a one night stand with this person and is recognizing that, oh shit, I might be in love with this person. Or what I'm also hearing is someone might be required to have a one night stand. Okay. Someone might be required to have a one night stand with this person. And this person is being deceptive and saying, well, if you truly love me, then we'll do, then you'll do this with me. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Run from that. I mean, I'm not religious. I'm more on the spiritual side of that, but I will tell you that's some bullshit and you need to not, you need to just leave that person alone because that is not true love. Okay. All right. What else? Anything else for Capricorn here in terms of this? Nope. That's it. Oh, one more card. Okay. One more card for Capricorn. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Okay. There is some sort of religious upbringing or religious dogma or something like that that someone is starting to realize has been stabbing them in the back. I'm hearing release the pain. Either this upbringing or this dogma has caused you to be pulled away from someone that you have true love with and you're starting to deal with the deceptive aspects of that. Maybe this is a specific person. For others of you, this could be a situation in which you are realizing how this dogma has been sabotaging your potential for finding true love. Wow, you guys. Wow. The main thing that I'm getting with this at this point, Capricorn, is you are at a point right now where you're starting to deal with the reality of this. You're starting to become aware of the deception. This, I mean, this could be a situation, you're starting to become aware of this deception, excuse me, or you're starting to heal from it. You're, you're in a point where you're dealing with it. I mean, this could even be a situation in which you are being required to, or you are, you are in some sort of situation, societal situation, religious situation in which arranged marriages are a thing. I'm picking up on, uh, I, I mean, this could be someone that is from India or something like that. Um, but, but more specifically, you guys, I'm picking up on some sort of uh, cultist energy or 
and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way or anything, like I'm not passing judgment, but I'm specifically hearing Mormonism. You may be an individual that is coming out of uh, the Church of Latter-day Saints. Okay. I am not passing judgment here. It is not for me to judge. All I am doing is bringing forward the message. The main thing that I'm getting from this situation, if you do resonate with this on some sort of arranged marriage tip that has heavy, is heavily associated with some sort of religion, organized religion, the main thing that I'm getting is that you're recognizing the deception behind this and how your chances at real true love have been hindered and or completely nullified by this religious these religious teachings or this religious upbringing and specifically i mean this is what spirit is saying to me but specifically uh, logically speaking this could be an lds situation in which you know i don't know if you guys are familiar with this but um within that church within that religion men are allowed to have multiple wives and the wives are required to go along with it but individuals who truly love each other are often separated from each other or there are circumstances or situations that end up separating that from each other start separating them from each other spirit is like this energy is taking me to a specific documentary that i did watch about this recently a few months ago actually on netflix about this specific church lds in which there was one story of two individuals that fell in love with each other as teenagers but the church didn't let them be together. This is a very sensitive subject. Again, I am not here to pass judgment. I am just here to convey the messages. And this is what spirit is bringing forward at this time. Okay. Now, if this is extremely triggering for you, then please don't run away. Although maybe you've already clicked off, but please don't run away. Maybe come back to it as this at a different time. But if this is extremely triggering for you, then that is an extreme point that needs to be healed. And it is my intention to bring you the messages that are necessary, but also that would be are required, that would be helpful to you in terms of healing this situation, okay? All right. Whew. Let's get into some tarot here and get you some deeper messages. Um, I just heard five shuffles, so I'm going to do that. That's This is one. This is two. This is three. Also, guys, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please just take it as it resonates, okay? You don't have to be in anything of any of the spe specific situations that I have mentioned here for this to resonate for you. Four. Wait. What's that for? Shit, I've lost count. We're just going to go ahead and call this five. Okay. Here we go. What's going on for Capricorn, please? Capricorn singles. First card is the sun. Awareness. Bright and happy opportunities lie ahead of you. But in order for you to reach these bright and happy opportunities, Capricorn, you have to go through the moment of blinding awareness that is allowing you to release yourself from this situation. You would not be able to release yourself from it, Capricorn, unless you were aware of exactly what was going on here and or how it is affecting you. So while the sun is the most beautiful card in the deck, is the most optimistic card in the deck, the sun also is a luminary. With it, bring, it brings awareness. And sometimes that awareness can burn pretty bad. But when it comes to this, I like to say that that burn is one of the best burns you can have in your life. Because from there, you're able to heal. What's going on for Capricorn? Next is the magician. This is literally clearing the blockages for you, allowing you to know what it is you need to know so that you can manifest exactly what it is that you want. 
which is the two of cups. Look at that, Capricorn. I mean, you can't, you can't get any more obvious or blatant than this. Awareness is being brought to your situation that has been hindering your process in manifesting exactly what it is that you want to achieve, which is true love. Two of cups. Okay? You can't, I mean, you can't get any more. You can't get any more. Overall energy is temperance. Balance. This is all about balance, Capricorn. So while what we're talking about here is a very sensitive subject, I am remaining balanced here in saying I am not, it is not my intention nor it is my place to pass judgment on what it is you are becoming aware of and the effects of that. It's not my place. I am just a messenger here. Let them do what they're going to do if that resonates with them. The fact of the matter is, Capricorn, wh whomever you are, that doesn't resonate for you any longer. Maybe never has. And I would encourage you, Capricorn, or Crosswatcher, whatever, I would encourage you to be peaceful about this, or at least as peaceful as you can, okay? I understand the rage and the anger that may be erupting from you at this time with the deception you're becoming aware of. Hello, the sun. But I would encourage you to be as peaceful about this as possible because it's not about them. It's not about getting back at them. It's not about getting revenge. Any anger that you are feeling, channel that into moving forward. But seeking revenge, Capricorn or Cross Watcher is not going to help you because it's only going to create more negativity around you. It's only gonna potentially create more for you to have to fight through and deal with and clean up and heal. Don't worry about them. Worry about yourself. This is all about bringing balance to yourself. I'm also hearing with temperance here, this is also about bringing balance between religion and spirituality. Maybe you are teetering on that cusp. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's get some clarity involved here. I want to clarify the sun. See, look at this. Underneath temperance is the ace of wands. That's a good, that's a good sign. That's a good omen. That means you are inspired to move forward. Yep, underneath that is the hanged man. You are changing, you are dealing with a change in perception. Or maybe you are driven and or inspired to change your point of view about this okay the sun clarify the sun please you can't make this stuff up cap first card out is the ten of swords you are being provided with the awareness that you need to end this toxic circumstance this detriment if even if you don't want to call it toxic that is fine if anything else, it's just detrimental. And it has been all along. But you didn't see that until now. And that is A-OK. -okay. The fact of the matter is, Cap or Cross Watcher, you see it. You see it now. That's all that matters. And yes, there's all kinds of rage, anger, resentment, sadness, regret that comes with it. But you know what? That's fine. That won't last forever. You'll get through it. Okay, 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 Capricorn. Look, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the 10 of wands. Carrying burdens or regulations or stipulations that are not your own or that are just too heavy, that bog you down, that restrict you way too much. With the sun here, you have the 10 of swords, the nine of wands in reverse and the four of swords. You are finally finally no longer resisting this. This may, be, may, this may have been a situation in which God, source, creator, the universe, your higher self, whatnot, whatever, whomever it is you uh, uh, align with, whatever, however this resonates for you. This may have been a situation in which you've been starting to pick up on things for a while. You've been experiencing synchronicities or just seeing 
things here and there and everywhere, but that's like, and you're saying to yourself, or there's something within you that's saying, that's not right. That's not right either. Whether this is you experiencing situations in your own personal life, or what I'm also hearing is, and feeling very dominantly, is that you, are, you were experiencing certain situations with people external to you that, are still, that were still part of this group or organization or this situation for you, in which you're saying, I don't agree with that. Something about that is not right. And it was triggering you, but you were stuffing it back down. Nope, <laughs> gotta keep up. Nope, gotta keep up with it. Until ultimately you released that resistance to the situation. You received, you allowed your mind to be clear. You allowed yourself to take a open-minded point of view, whatever that means for you, or you just allowed yourself to accept the evidence of what it was you were seeing, and then ultimately that put you on to a, put you onto the awareness of what this is, the Ten of Wands, what it is you've been agreeing to, or what it is you've been carrying all this time that has been creating this circumstance that's now coming to an end. This is really about surrendering. The Nine of Wands in reverse to the Four of Swords talks about surrendering. And regardless as to how this is, has been specifically playing out for you, ultimately you're at a point now, Capricorn, where you're surrendering to the evidence around you. It's undeniable at this point. And I just heard there is no way you can go back from here because the, because the evidence is just too damning. <sighs> okay. Excuse me clarify the magician for you okay so first of all i'm seeing within the magician i'm seeing individuals that have been heavily manipulative whomever these leaders are if this is a pastor or if this are if these are just other individuals i'm seeing a leader for some of you in this magician but i'm also seeing your own manifestation abilities in the magician as well clarify the magician please The Five of Wands. I just heard you have been at odds with yourself. Knowing your manifestational power, but not ceding to it. Knowing your manifestational power, but then coming up against the dogma that has been wow, unleashed onto you by the other, by the leaders here or whomever has been manipulating your mind in this situation. Manipulating the energies, most likely for their own, for their own service or their own good. I mean, this straight up could have been a pastor here who was preaching one thing, but then turn around and acting all crazy on their own time, talking, talking about, well, I can do that. Why can you do that? Well, because I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the pastor, I'm closest to God, I'm special. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Practice what you preach, homeboy, is what I want to say about that. Mm. The magician. Ooh, death. You know, it's interesting. I was seeing Scorpio energy here. I didn't mention it, though, but I was seeing Scorpio energy here, and now I see why. The death and transformation of that. But also, this person could have been a Scorpio, too. Anything else for the magician? before I say anything more. Okay. 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 Yep. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Having an open heart, allowing your heart to lead you now instead of the dogma, being true to yourself, being true to who you are, being true to what it is that you truly want inside what your heart is saying to you. But the magician is clarified by the five of wands, death, the six of swords, and the queen of pentacles. So for some of you here, you are actually, the transformation that you've gone through outside of this conflict, this conflicting energies, these conflicting points of view here, the transformation that you're going through in terms of this is moving you forward at six of swords and is actually leading you towards a commitment, a wife wifey material for some of you that's for whomever here resonates as the masculine 
in that side of the situation. So you would actually be that king of pentacles looking for a queen of pentacles that is outside your typical space or whatever. Um, whether you're a man or a woman, that doesn't matter. You could be a woman and still, uh, I mean, shit, shit. This could be someone, go, oh, honey. This could literally be someone stepping out of that dogma and accepting their queerness, we'll say. Straight up and down. I support you in that, obviously. Hello, but I... <laughs> But I support you regardless as to whether I would, I, I am part of that community or not. Love is love, y'all. If you find happiness, if you find content, contentment, if you find commitment with that, then baby, I support you because I support love here. We support love here. And if you find true love outside of that dogma with someone that is unconventional, read it and weep, unconventional, then baby... I support you, okay? Even if you're entering into some sort of polyamorous situation, if y'all can have a good solid agreement and everything is copacetic and y'all are happy, then I support you. Because we're talking about true love here, okay? That's it, regardless as to what it look, looks like. And it looks like, it looks different for everybody out here, okay? Now also, the other thing that I'm getting with this is Outside of the realm of this being uh, wifey material, what it is you're moving forward towards, um, you're transforming out of this differing of opinion, we'll call it, straight up and down. That's really all it has to be, differing of opinion, okay? No judgment. If they want to stay there because that works for them, then let them do that. That ain't none of your business. None of mine either, okay? It's a differing of opinion, straight up and down. And opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one, right? But you are literally transforming out of that situation and moving forward in a way that has and honors you in a much better way. Because the Queen of Pentacles is all about self-worth, understanding your worth, not accepting anything less than what it is you are worthy of, not and, and damn sure, oh, I'm getting, y'all, I'm getting heated, but damn sure not accepting any sort of situation in which homeboy or homegirl ain't keeping up their end of the bargain. Again, practice what you preach. Don't tell me, don't require me to hold myself to one thing and then you turn around, supposed to be my spiritual leader, my closest source to God, and then you turn around and do the exact opposite uh-uh. Oh, hell no. Nah. We ain't doing that around here, says the Queen of Pentacles. Nope. You can keep that. Because I ain't buying it. Because I know I'm worthy of so much more. Oh. I need to take a breath. <laughs> Woo, I need a breath. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Finally, let's clarify the Two of Cups. What is this Two of Cups energy for Capricorn singles? You are in direct alignment with true love. You want to receive true love in your life, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, in my opinion, as a reader, rep well, both the King and the Queen represent the process of law of attraction. The Queen of Wands represents the magnetic side of it, okay? So that is the energy of you understanding what it is that you want and getting into alignment with it energetically in order to make yourself a magnet for it. Then the King of Wands side of it aspect comes into play when the opportunities start coming to you and then you take action towards it, okay? But what this is confirming here for, to me, for you, is that you are very much in alignment with true love, in alignment with finding a soulmate. A soulmate that resonates with you, with the truth of who you are. This is confirmation of that Capricorn or Crosswatcher. So if you've been questioning 
If you've been allowing this five of wands energy to keep fucking you up in your head, if you've been questioning, am I even in alignment for true love? All this crazy stuff is happening around, around me right now. Is this even really necessary for me to find true love? The answer is yes. Yes, because the dogma has been holding you back. Clarify the two of cups, please, for Capricorn. Don't look back. Overall energy is the fucking devil. There we go. Capricorn, don't look back. Cross watcher, don't look back. Don't look back. Two of Cups here is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So I will say this. Yes, the answer is yes. You are in direct alignment. And what is happening for you during this time is a necessary part of the process to release you, the devil, underneath the devil is the Wheel of Fortune, to release you from this karmic situation, to release you from this karmic cycle, to release you from the effects of the devil. How you have been chained and held back from actually finding and receiving true love. I mean, outside of the realm of true love, Capricorn, this is really all about reciprocity. Again, practice what you preach. This has got me so heated, y'all. I'm doing my best to hold my fire, my fire aspects back, but this shit like this, man, ooh, I'm ready to fight a motherfucker for this shit, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Being the spiritual person that I am, I can't stand that shit. Again, I, I can't say this shit enough. Practice what you preach, man, right? But look, Here's the aspect that's making you feel like you're not doing the right thing. Eight of swords, two of swords. But, again, what I want to say about this Capricorn is don't look back. Because the two of swords here can be a positive thing. It is denial, okay? Or it can be denial. But it also can represent an energy of not being able to understand or find the answers that you seek in the external world. So instead, you go internally. You close your ears, you close your eyes, and you look within, right? But this also can be an energy of denial. And in this situation, it is positive denial because what you would be denying is your source of confinement. Don't look back, Capricorn. Or cross watcher. Yes, okay, we're gonna leave it there. Whew. Thank you so much for tuning in, Capricorn. I am sending you so much love. Um, some of you might be crying right now. I wanna cry. I don't wanna cry because I feel sorry for you or I feel bad for you. I wanna cry because you are being liberated. You deserve to be loved for exactly who you are. Not what some... Come on, guys. Okay, they're saying, say it exactly as you heard it. Not what some book tells you. And I know it's not just some book. But the, there are ways that that information has been used to manipulate people. I'm literally going to cry. I'm just happy for you. Because regardless of who you are or what your alignment is or how you identify or what your preferences are, you still deserve to be loved. And you are, you are in a process right now of liberating yourself to find it, to achieve it. And I'm really happy for you because you deserve it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. I'm literally crying. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.